Okay. Okay. So hold on. Is this better? Is this better? I think this is better. I don't know actually. I think it is. Either way, we are starting another quest again, or at least main quest again. I've already gotten all the daily things done, and also got the resin done. Largely leveled this up from last time, so I'm pretty much just needing to get through this so I can get this event done because it's um very close to um being missable. Uh, do I want no? I'll, I'll try not to. Really dumb the way that you have to get up. Oh wait, right, Twitch chat. Okay. Don't you fucking. Okay, come on. Okay, please. Don't be too bad. Okay. Look up there! That's the J Chamber! Oh, I don't even have to get up that high. It's pretty high up. We should have asked on you. <sighs> well, since we want to go to the Jade Chamber, let's look around. There has to be a way up there nearby. Again, you should probably be asking one of the people who regularly goes there. Please. Oh, you just teleport me nearby. Okay, good. I was worried that I was going to be at the bottom of the mountain. Ah, uh, yes, because it's always a good idea to have something like this be accessed through. It's been a while since I've limbered up. Hey, look! There's some sort of mechanism thingy! There is literally a quest marker, and this is the only thing up here. Let so me. If this is the right place, it must have something to do with the Jade Chamber! No way! Just trust Baimon's instincts! Okay. You know, it's as slippery as ice up there. Up to here. Aww, if that wind current was stronger, we'd be able to reach the top in one go. Best we go back to Leo and ask the middle of this. Huh? Why? The wave shouldn't be a secret or. Or. Oh, Paimon gets it. If it was a secret, Ganyu wouldn't have let us try to find it ourselves, right? All right. Yeah. Let's follow your. Oh. Hang on a moment. Look down there. Looks like we've gotten close to the Guizhong Ballista. Why are we heading back here again? Hmm. Uh, has a new idea. No. Why don't we shoot you up to the Jade Chamber using the Ballista? You're proposing we use government protected property that is a weapon to shoot at a basically the equivalent of the White House. No. It's an idiotic thing to do, and get arrested for life. Do you really hate me that much? Uh, no. Paimon may have just forgotten to think about the safety measures. Why are we going along with this? We shouldn't be going towards the ballista. We should just be going back and asking the goddamn Milanus to say, hey, Gone you asked me to come go to the Jade Chamber at Ningguang's request. That would already be well enough able to get me to there. Oh, that's right. Now that you mention it, we could use the Guizhong Ballista to see if there's another way up nearby. No, we need just There isn't a secret. I I want to have fucking agency on this. What do you think, cutie? Uh, hold on. Okay. 
Wait, it's on the other side of the mountain. Then why was the... Rikmoy Shrung Ballista? It's on the other side of the mountain. Why would I have been gotten on... Why would I need to go to the other side of the mountain for this? It's just exceedingly dumb design and dumb... Like, ah, yes, let's have this character force you to... Quite another thing, because your character is nothing but a yes, man. There's no reason to say no. Also, this is literally the only reason... The only... Actually, no, I know for a fact the only reason that this is even a thing. Why am I getting so many goddamn Discord pings? Oh, that's why, because... Jesus Christ, okay. Anyway, uh... Am I going to be able to make it? Maybe. No, I misjudged it. Oh, I misjudged it so damn badly. Wait, let's go the easy way. Which I think is here. Which I think is here. I don't know. Either way, I'm not going to... Find a way to need to climb all the way up from bottom floor to top. Yeah, because I've played this game before and I've played through this part of the story before, I know for a fact the only reason why this is even here, or for us to even do this pointless ass shit, is just to introduce a character so they're actually involved in the story, and not just a random character that helps in the climax. Fuck all of you. Honestly. Halt! Who trespasses on these hallowed grounds? We're just passing through. Exactly. We we're invited guests. No. Wait. Maybe this was Ningwan's plan all along. Just go back to the goddamn city to get it. There is no fucking way. <clears throat> oh, sorry. There's literally almost no way that there wouldn't have been any form of word to, ah, oh, yes, get to there. Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. She pretended to invite us to the Jade Chamber. Uh, what? We're just on guard. Okay. Nonsense. See? Well, here they come. Line them up and knock them down. I'm on your fucking idiot. I'm on. No, my sword. If the main character could speak and we could actually have no issues towards this, it'd be much better besides assaulting literally besides literally assaulting multiple What's better too is that chances are that your bounty would have been called off because they would have actually seen recognized you from the bounty and not just, you know decided, I guess let's just do this I haven't even gotten hit once yet. This is just a pointless fucking quest. Stop. What's all this about? Hi, Kaching. Lady Kaching. These two strange people. Who are you calling strange? Paimon. We just beat up like twenty people. Because of your dumbass assumptions. What's even better is that, you know, we should maybe go and go to the Millilith or to the city to actually just not get any confusion. That's the reasonable thing to do. And anyway, we're looking for a way to Jade Chamber. You want to go to the Jade Chamber? Who are you? Uh, you're gonna always say Traveler, but... Well, as it happens, I... Oh. I'm Kuching, the Yuhung of the Chising. Okay. I know of you, Traveler. You're Ningguang's guests, yes? 
didn't expect to meet you here in the mountains. Why do you have fake cat ears? Wow. Paimon didn't think we'd meet- The Guizhong Ballista in Tianhong Pass has long been in disrepair. And yet, these Millilith are just here to guard the scene. Not to- So, this was all a misunderstanding? Paimon never would have thought. Oh my god, I just... <sighs> You know, if you end up dying in the future story, I'll be glad. I'll anyway, be dancing on that grave. For a mortal to be able to repair an adepti mechanism is quite the mystery. Even to the cheesing. Yeah, it was, well, Rex Lapis, but you don't know that. Main character doesn't know that. I only know that because I've done this before. <laughs> that was... Huh? Oh, right. So... Just call me Kuching. I'd say that Ningguang's purpose is to request that the savior of Mondstadt take a more neutral stance. Or at least, to not wholly side with the Adepti. Yeah. We're not taking sides. We spoke with- When you say protect, you're referring to their sanctimonious arrogance, aren't you? The fuck do you mean by sanctimonious arrogance? Huh? You are mortals, and thus under their protection. There was no way they would have regarded you as someone with the ability to assassinate a god. My fuck. Naturally, they would also regard Ningguang's locking down the area, questioning the citizenry, and pursuit of the assassin to be pointless work. Perhaps they even wonder if there might be a cover-up. I'll say it like it is. They're underestimating us. Okay. That, that doesn't surprise me. You've got a point there. Still. <laughs> Should I respect the shallow sense of time and condescension to mortals that has caused them to delay in moving against us, Chising? Forget it. I shouldn't speak of them this way. This skepticism is mine alone, and Ningguang does not share it. And you're an absolute fan. Not fan, but like. You're absolute diehard fan for the god, though, so I'd imagine you probably cried into your body pillow for when he died. Either way, or died. I will admit that the actions of the Adepti this time were quite restrained. Rex Lapis's death is indeed an extraordinary circumstance. But to think that they would call for a council of Adepti rather than come down here directly. But, okay, who, who is they? Is we they, or is it someone else? How surprisingly civilized of them. Ningguang would prefer. Ningguang would prefer. prefer Ningguang would prefer to negotiate, wouldn't she? Well, for Ningguang, she would talk anything and everything out if she could. But I doubt we can do that here. Yeah. The time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liyue Qixing don't want to face that truth, then. <gasps> Another super bold statement. Bye, Mom. That is not that bold, because we've already had someone say that. <sighs> I'll stop here. Hunt, you should both be off to the Jade Chamber. Don't be late now. The cream of Liyue's mercantile crop also is sending to the Jade Chamber is the greatest honor. Each brings rich gifts as they visit. All to favor? Bye, Mom. That's not the goddamn point. But... No but That's right. Greeting gifts are a staple of Leah's culture. We need to get one. Not to curry favor or anything, just to respect Leah's culture. Ah. So eager. All right, all right. You can decide on your greeting gift yourselves. Let me tell you how to get to the Jade Chamber first. You didn't actually have to come to Mount Tianhong. Go back to Liyue Harbor. Find a guide at the Yuahai Pavilion. Well then, may we meet again, Traveler. Okay, that was a bit weird how it black screened and started the uh, dialogue at the same exact time, but okay. Well, that Yuhung may not respect the gods, but Paimon thinks she's a pretty cool person. She kind of got an impression on me too. So, what should we give to Ningguan when we see her? You really have shift of focus, haven't you? Oh, right! Paimon dreamed of an amazing snack last night! Sugar frosted slime! Paimon has a feeling that it would be perfect for a super rich person like Ningguang. I have no idea if that would work. Why don't we go with that for a gift? So, um. Do you have a recipe? Nope! But Paimon's sure that we just let's go gather ingredients! 
All right, so we're winging a goddamn recipe that we weren't even intending on needing to get because... Actually, I could just teleport here and just get to it faster since I do kind of need to get this done as soon as I can. Uh, how... Hold on. Uh, let me just look something up real quick. Uh, uh, new star... No, actually... Our... List of our conquests. Let's see the subdivisions because I know there are a few subdivisions. <laughs> okay, a new star approaches the floating. Po oh, Jesus Christ, there are six god damned parts to it, and I'm still on the. F no, I'm on the second one. Okay, that's a little bit better. Already a third of the way through, so that's not too bad. At least. I. I Still gonna be awful, if I'm honest. It's just gonna be fucking annoying. Because that's what a lot of this quest boils down to. Because literally, the first two quests, I don't think really even bring a whole lot of substance. Oh, there's. That's one. Tasty slime condensate. So do people actually eat the condensate or no? Huh? Is it just Buckle? Did you hear that? Sound like someone was calling it for help. Like it came from those ruins over there. How in the hell do you not see the person in the cage right now? Uh -oh. And it'd be a lot louder. It looks like the treasure orders have locked someone inside. Yeah, flat out you can just see direct line of sight. Anyway, I'm alone. There's no end to this. Goodbye. Come a closer. You've been. Don't be such a brute. Body and mind. Hello. Hello, Meng Dong. Not Meng Dong, but hello, Meng Dan. <laughs> Thank you for your help, kind travelers. If you hadn't come to my aid, I surely would have rotted in this cell. Those treasure hoarders. When their mood was good, they'd rearrange those pots of sweet flowers. Oh, I was nothing. <laughs> I understand. Don't worry. I don't say that. I only escaped this predicament because of you. Uh, okay. I'm Meng Dan, a supplier for Mingxing Jewelry in Liyue Harbor. I often walk around these mountains in search of antiques. There are dozens of monsters around, and I don't see a weapon on you. Or simply put, there are monsters that are significantly stronger than treasure hoarders, so I do not see... I never expected that those treasure hoarders would have their eyes on the same ruins that I had. Before I knew it, they'd caught and imprisoned me. Also, if you're searching for antiques and, like, jewelry in a whole ruin that's presumably a few centuries old, isn't that just flat out... Well, it's not robbing a museum, but... And it's not grave robbing, but it's, lay, but it's something of that nature. Is there anything that you lack? Uh, antiques, treasure, various knickknacks, you name it. Well... Wait a moment. Actually... Oh? And what might that be? Do you have a really good gift box? Do you have a box that can store presents? We can... Of course we do. How can one sell antiques without gift boxes? At Ming... Now just give me a moment and I'll let the boss know. You can go see her whenever you require. Great! Hi, Munch! So what, are we just making slime and sugar together? Together? That that sounds solitary fragrance, hard the glaze, turning point, the fond farewell. Hold on. Uh, how is still an equilibrium? I I just need to get through this as fast as possible, and I also need to be able to hope that I don't have any form of issues. Hello. <clears throat> Uncle Mung already told me about it. Many of the best goods in our store were found by Uncle Mung. 
If anything were to happen to him, here, this container is itself an antique. Yep, yep, yep. It's great. Hang on a moment. Can we? Sure. Please help yourselves. Traveler, this clay pot looks really awesome. If we use an antique as our mixing bowl, we should be able to make a great snack. Paimon, that's the dumbest goddamn idea I've heard you say. It's done! Don't... Oh, yes. You might want to use these two freshly picked flowers as decorations, too. Hmm. Woohoo! It looks beautiful! I'm still not sold on this gift idea. Great. Now that we've put all that we... Icing on the slime. It would be kind of funny if we legitimately got, uh... Like, recipe for this. Like, right after. Because it is known that slime, or at least... Slime is edible to some degree because Zhang Ling has also been said to be able to experiment with weird and wacky ingredients like that. But either way. Time to act. Hello. According to Ke Ching, this is what we should say. Don't mind me coming down from the roof. Excuse me, do you sell the moon here? Hmm. Yes. How many would you like? It's not convenient to speak of numbers here. Ah, well said. Please, use this to ascend to the chamber. Uh, yep. And yet the code they used was not the one for guests, but for the Yuang. What's going on here? <laughs> I was simply put, the person who uh, said that we need to come up to the Jade Chamber didn't actually give us anything. They just said, hey, you need to meet, come up to the Jade Chamber. They just left it at that. So, we basically had to ask around for that, and that was the one we got, so. Mm. Ah, yes, now we're about, tw not tw uh, probably 200 meters into the air. I've been waiting for you, returnee from Joy Yun Karst. Is that a tattoo, or is that part of, like, a <gasps> legging? It's Ningua, since this is our first... Oh, for me. You have my thanks. <laughs> nice place. This jade chamber. <laughs> I'm glad you like it too. Is that a tattoo or is that like a weird pant leg that's just skin colored? Because this is white. This is skin colored. So that's probably a tattoo. This palace floats in the skies. Higher than the peak of any mountain. From this vantage point, one may survey all of Liyue. Mm. I have been gathering the funds necessary to build it from the time I began learning the merchant's craft. And since becoming the Tianjuan, I have spared no effort in hiring the best craftsmen to constantly extend it. At first, it was but the size of one room. Now, it is large enough to blot out the moon in the skies above Liyue. One day, I believe it will overshadow all seven nations. Is Tianquan 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 Is Tianquan Tianquan does not lack does not lack for ambition does not lack ambition does not lack for ambition. Not many from outside Liyue earn the right to ascend to the Jade Chamber, but I have been in correspondence with the acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius. Who spoke highly of you. Mm. As such, I have been putting eyes and ear What? Don't don't be surprised. And I finally got wind of your movements when you were on the way to Wang Shu Inn. Uh, wait! Was Virgoldet one of your people? <laughs> Just Virgoldet? No. Like probably half of Liyue is on her payroll. Everyone at Wang Shu Inn is one of ours. That makes sense. <laughs> Are you... We also ran into Ying, Yu Hang not long ago. At the Guizhang Ballista, yes? Yeah. Uh, you were... <laughs> I fear that peeking would have been... Our eyes and ears are more than sufficient. You two are very interesting people, after all. It would be natural to take an interest. Jing said that the Qi Qing would not wish ill on Rex Lapis. Well, I wouldn't expect you to trust us, considering that you have had far more interactions with the Adepti. 
The reason I invited you here was to clear up some misunderstandings. Which is respectable of you. Thank you for doing that. Sky's the limit. Equilibrium still. If I just hop on... Oh, hold on. Can I... Oh, god damn it! No, it doesn't let me teleport here. Like, I am right at the edge. I believe that you've heard of the Archon War. Only in the broadest of strokes. Many gods used to walk this earth, and many long wars were fought between them that did not abate until 2,000 years ago. Much blood was shed, and many lives were lost. In the end... <laughs> Only seven victors remained standing in Tibet. They built cities and nations on the corpses of the vanquished, and thus began the era of the Seven. Mm. You can see Goyun Stone Forest from here, I trust. It is no natural rock formation. Beneath the spears lie those cast down by Rex Lapis in those days, gods that failed to seize the title of Archon. Okay, but that's full-blown... Like, that whole rock formation, I mean, granted, erosion and other things probably would have made it so that it, met, like, kind of gets bigger by the amount of stuff that built up on it, but that is absurd, because that's as Not big as a city. Not only is it true that gods may die, but so too has the membership of the Seven changed over the last two millennia. Rex Lapis's passing is an unimaginable disaster for Liyue, but the Order of the Seven will not collapse simply because of that. Another okay. Lord of Geo will arise sooner or later. Yet, how are we to forget Rex Lapis? When that time comes, the relationship between the people of Liyue and the gods and Adepti will surely be different from before. Mm. Even in a new era, the Liyue Qixing remain Rex Lapis's former subjects. Do you really think us capable of having played a part in his demise? Of lacking the foresight to see the certain repercussions. Okay, but why hide the Exuvia then? <laughs> that day at Yujing Terrace, it was also very sudden. Even I was caught completely off guard. You were there, you no doubt saw. Yes. But our enemy has long lain hidden within the harbor. If we do not act against them now, they will surely gain the upper hand. Hiding the Exuvia was a necessary maneuver to take the initiative back. To play the spider while our foes scurry about. Who's this enemy you're talking about? Child. What do you think, Traveler? It's him, isn't it? Huh? What are you two talking about? Child, you dumb fuck. We've already seen someone who's capable of taking on a god, and that's a harbinger. It's not really a coincidence that immediately after us running from the scene that we meet someone who is not only a Fatui member, but a Harbinger, you dumb fuck. Well answered. Uh, uh -huh. <sighs> the scenery out here is fine indeed, but the wind is a little strong. <clears throat> okay, I don't want to jump off to see if it does that. So it would be kind of funny. I mean, I'm imagining you'd probably, if it didn't just automatically teleport wow, your back, dude. What a huge hall! Archon's never seen such a fancy place before. Because you've never been in a president's Very hall easy, or two. something like that. Make yourselves at home if you wish. Can we really? I have invited you two here as friends. And when friends come over to play, our enjoyment comes first. Is Naturally. that... Is that what I think it is? Ooh, isn't this that legendary wall? Why, you've kept your ear to the ground, I see. That's because even the storytellers are talking about it. Every That's because that wall records Leo's secrets. Merchants have always been attracted to secrets. No shit. But the secrets of the mercantile world are of no interest to you, are they, Traveler? You're rather special, really, and I think you're quite aware of that. Yes, you'd be correct. If possible, I'd like to have your trust. And that'd be fine, because you're about to have and go and go find evidence to prove that the Futui is directly involved in trying to basically... Well, not do something like... Like, well, yeah, control Liyue, and not specifically, but fairly 
connectively trying to figure out how to not necessarily control but at least guard against the adept eye when doing that but if you were to choose the more trustworthy person <laughs> you'd pick kuching no nah, i had a feeling yeah i originally thought her a bit too hard-headed with someone of her character on the chasing i've had some extra messes to clean up behind the scenes so, did you plan to kill people, or is this just like, yeah, I had to make sure gossip didn't spread kind of messes? But after she said those words, the time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liyue Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyue? Eh, uh, you know, probably the same kind that a coddled child has, but... Well, I must say that quite a few of my doubts have been dispelled. Have they now? I won't deny that Rex Lapis's passing seems advantageous to us. But, for Liyue's sake, we cannot allow ourselves to be shackled by rumors of our usurpation of power. I surmise that the Futui has had a hand, ha or has a hand in these rumors. Indeed. It seems that you understood what I meant to say from the very beginning. I called for the gag order and for the Exuvia to be hidden to temporarily stabilize the situation. And also to prevent something similar to the incident in Mondstadt. Wait, so do you know... Well, no, you probably don't, but... What, I'm assuming that what was thought is that the Fatui basically assaulted the Archon and got away with it, which is a pretty... bold thing to do. With Rex Lapis's death, the Fatui have busied themselves with many clandestine actions beyond their diplomatic remit. As the Tianchuan, one responsible for Liyue... I cannot be too concerned with appearances when opposing them. Good for you. Allowing the rite of parting to take place was also meant to buy some time for us to take control of Liyue's administration. Kind of interesting that that's also a thing that you need- well, I mean, granted, that is a good thing to do, but- It's exactly as Zhongli said! The Qixing only provided the venue for the rite so they could use us for their own ends! You're saying this in front of the person that probably directly ordered it. Wait, that's right. Speaking of ends, could I say one other thing? What the fuck are you about to say? Of course. Lyman's heard that anyone who sends a greeting gift gets a little something in return. So, does that include us? I want to hit you with the sword that I have. Not the dull blade, not this two-star blade. The goddamn one I have currently equipped. A fillet blade and blade and hope that it does its passive on you <laughs> it's all right i like direct people thankfully well we have made quite a bit of trouble for you recently yay paimon was just <gasps> one of the sheets on that wall don't look at paimon like that one of these sheets of paper will sell for crazy just imagine let's grab one the biggest one Anyway, let's check the map. Huh? Well, that was an easy search. The biggest sheet is la 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 la. Huh? There's a place marked with a circle on here. Oh, sigil of permission, something, something, fatui, research, cop. Aw, oh, that doesn't sound like trick. Oh, this piece of paper shows that a cheesing. Oh, Ningguang did say that the fatui have been up to all kinds of mischief in the shadows of Liyue. Spreading rumors, wanting to get their hands on the Archon's body and whatnot. Yeah. The research on the sigil of permission? Paimon wonders what they're up to. Well, considering if sigil of permission allowed us to just not have aggression from Adepti from violating the sanctity of their homes, I mean, do it enough, you can probably end up in it with chains to enslavement. Less so. That's the most logical course of action. The actual one is just to revive an old dead god, which was put into foreshadowing by Ningguang about... About ten minutes ago, I think. Which, there's also some connection between you and the sigil of permission. 
seems there's still more for us to find out. Ningguang is clearly trying to steer us there. Oh, you really think so? Yes. Undoubtedly, yes. Well, should we not go then? We should. Oh, so you're saying that it's precisely because we can't completely trust Ning... Hmm. That's what... Anyway, well, um, before we look for Zhongli at Dihua Marsh, let's go to... I'm just going to teleport out of here. No issue. And this is halfway through. Oh. And guess what? Ha, ah, I can do that just now without having to He's give a sh- Oh. Yes! And, uh, they look really mad at us too. No shit. Just what will we come across? Not a whole lot, but guess what we are gonna be doing? Little thing. Hello. This isn't good. Hello. You're in for a little shock. Use this first. Hip dip. Anyway, you can tell that these are all here from the quest because there isn't any form of... Oh. Why did you have the research out in the open on a box? I not even covered by a roof since all of these are made out of paper. It's dumb as hell. Looks like they're copying the pattern of the talisman. I haven't seen this pattern before, but where? The sigil of permission. It literally said on the damned paper that it was a sigil permission studies. Oh, Paimon knows. Hmm. But how did a relic of the adept die end up in the hands of someone like Child? It's not just a relic. Oh, that's right. Cloud Retainer said that when the little talismans like that were once used in the Archon War to channel divine powers. Which is kind of absurd if you consider the fact that, again, get enough of them together, you get enough of even, like, shadows of them together, you're going to be getting something that's equivalent to the Archon War. Maybe the Fatui are copying the Sigil of Permission in hopes of achieving a similar effect. That's probably Being what they're doing. Being able to channel divine power in battle? Whew. That sounds pretty dangerous. Maybe this paper is only a snippet of a much bigger plan. And the plot thickens. We we'll need to keep an eye on Child, that's for sure. No shit. Hmm. All right, the last stop on our ride of party preparations tour is Dewa Marsh. We haven't done that yet. I'm talking about you fucking Let's did it. Go. Huh? 
to the one Mississippi. Growing like five meters a second like this, that's kind of impressive. Right on time. I myself only arrived moments ago. Really? Did you enjoy your visit to the Jade Chamber? It was it was okay, a bit laced with business. It would be nice to have just like a fifteen minute chat with no business, but yeah. It was so big. Indeed. It's second to none in all of Liyue. Mm -hmm. Then you met with Ningguang, I trust. What did you talk about with her? Ah, oh, you know, the Fatui doing dumb shit. She's super rich and so generous. <sighs> yeah, his take on Ningguang is quite different from Paimon's. He thinks that even the tackless Yu Hung is more trustworthy than her. Paimon, we're talking the equivalent of the president of the goddamn Chinese government. You don't trust that kind of person. Oh, so you also met with Kuching then? What did she have to say? She said the time of the adept. <laughs> No respect for the divine. I mean, respect is a two-way street. So indeed, contrary to the everbold Kuching, Ningguang is more of a businesswoman at heart. Though they are both, although she's friendly, there's no way of clearly discerning her true intentions. Ningguang is highly ambitious. Yes, she has only relied on herself to rise to her current position. No ordinary person could ever achieve that. It's said that she's the one behind the constant expansion of the Jade Chamber. It's the second most important thing to her. Even if she ever gave up the position of Tianxuan, she would never give up the Jade Chamber. The hell is the first? The Jade Chamber is only second? What's the most important thing to her then? Why, Mora, of course. Yeah, no surprises All there. All Ningguang talked about was the Fatui this and the Fatui that. She said that after Rex Lapis... That is how the Fatui have always been. It doesn't surprise me in the least. Yeah, now they're trying to reproduce sigils of permission. Hmm. Yeah, you know exactly what that means because you're just the Archon who's deciding to take a retirement break by... Or to do retirement by faking your death. No matter what they may be planning, you must be careful when dealing with the Fatui. Always be on your guard. Wait, I just realized, does your collar go all the way down here? Not like stop at a reasonable level, like here? Or here even? That's, I mean, again, this is supposed to be like here, and then that's supposed to be... Like, so, I, I'm nitpicking a Genshin design. Yes, as a matter of fact, there is. Today, we'll be gathering wild glaze lilies. You know we could have picked some up in Liyue Harbor, right? Glaze lilies? But why did we come all the way out here? Doesn't the garden in Yujing Terrace have some? Even Qingsa Village has glaze lilies. But those are domesticated. You're talking about the actual traditional ones, which are probably long extinct, but you don't care about oh, them. right. Paima remembers that Madame Pig... No. Those lilies have all been gardened by people. They won't do at all. Dihua Marsh used to be full of glaze lilies. Before the Archon War, Dihua Marsh was all dry land and fertile soil. But the war caused landslides, and the land was flooded. Of course, there are some kinds of flowers that have been preserved and gardened by people in the city. But very few people know that glaze lilies may still be found in the wild. Yeah. Wild glaze lilies have the strongest fragrance. If we want to follow the true tradition of the rite of parting, we must... But I'll need your assistance in gathering these flowers. So you need me to sing? <laughs> That's correct. Uh, so how good is your singing? I can hold the tune. Really? Why doesn't Paimon believe you? We'll only know once he starts singing. Hello, glaze lilies. <clears throat> it's time to sing. Whenever you're ready. 
<clears throat> Very strange. This is the only goddamn voice line I think I've heard Traveler say in the last like five to. T I I I'm not even gonna nitpick at that. This just. Dumb. Hello. No, these are just water flowers, though. Boba, get them. Oh, come on. Other way. There we go. Right, closer. There we go. Oh, sweet flower. Man, fuck. Fuck you. Earth flowers put up quite a fight. This little monster is known as a whopper flower. Yep. Hmm. Strange. These petals look interesting. The glaze lilies used as a disguise were buried with the whopper flower for too long. The result seems to have surprisingly potent medicinal value. Let's collect what we can of these petals. How could you tell that just by looking at them? Well, that's nice and all, but will those useful for the right of parting it's his funeral so sure unfortunately no never mind oh, that's so lame excuse me i got on you are you searching for glaze lilies yep. oh hey it's what's her face uh... greetings go on you hello traveler i'm surprised you still remember my name i i cannot the amount of people that say you're the be one of the better characters or meta slaves is too much oh, that reminds me how was your visit to the Jade Chamber? Uh, good. Why didn't you tell me the way up? Well, it sure would have been better if you told us how to get up there. Didn't I tell you the way? Surely I did. No. Nope. We found the way on our own. I guess it's our fault for not asking, which is also true. Oh, I see. Uh-oh. I guess I really did forget to tell them. Huh. Something she's acting different from the first time. Oh, well, I met you at that time as an emissary of the Tianquan. But now, I am simply out on a stroll to see the flowers. Okay. You came all the way out here to see the flowers? Why not? <sighs> Yujing Terrace is where Rex Lapis parted from this world. If I strolled through those lonely gardens now, I wouldn't be able to bear it. Hmm. Whenever my duties take me near Yujing Terrace these days, I draw the windows to block my view of the gardens. Okay. Oh. No, it's quite all right. When the Archon War came to its end 2,000 years ago, the first iteration of the Seven would gather in Liyue and drink with Rex Lapis. But five of those original Seven had already passed before Rex Lapis. It's truly a changing of the guard. Yeah, and I know the only other person who is still alive would be the... <sighs> would be the goddamn Electro Archon with the Raiden Shogun, or A, or whatever the fuck. The worst Archon and the most infuriating goddamn quest. Yes. Now that the spirit of Rex Lapis has returned to the heavens. Only right, because she changed up with her sister. I'm the first it. seven. Also, technically, the he's retired. Five, including Inazuma's Raiden Shogun are no longer the same friends from 2,000 years ago. Eh. Of the current seven Archons, the youngest is Sumeru's god of Dendro. She is merely 500 years old, whereas Rex Lapis was more than 6,000 years old at the time of his passing. You're almost 6,000 years old. Maybe we can get a birthday cake with that many candles this on it. This means that Liyue had been under Rex Lapis's rule from the moment it was first founded 3,700 years ago. The city has never had to bid farewell to its deity. You say that like it's a common occurrence. So what do you think of this farewell? Huh? This... This is a little sudden. I... He's asking you this because this is Rex Lapis talking to probably one of the only few people that he knows he could talk seriously about just the amount of shit. As a mortal... I've never dared to imagine a Liyue without Rex Lapis. You're half Adeptus. As a mortal. Doesn't that kind of like make it not mortal? But as an Adeptus, I 
think I will eventually come to grips with reality. Since Rex Lapis has passed, the time of Liyue's contract with the gods and Adepti has now reached its end. Uh. Huh? Did you just say as an Adeptus? Paimon, she literally has horns, blue, and blue goddamn hair. Yes, I... I am a mix of human and Chilin. Adeptus blood flows through my veins. I fought for Rex Lapis and the city of Liyue during the Archon War. Mm. After the war ended, I signed a contract with Rex Lapis and took the position as secretary for the Chising. I've continued those duties to this very day. So you have Quilin? That explains the horns. Well, uh, let's save that conversation for another day. Okay. You say that you are here looking for glaze lilies? We are. I also know where wild glaze lilies can be found. See, I've just picked one myself. Here, you may have it if you wish. Thank you. We dare not refuse it. Oh, so did you sing a song? Indeed, I did. I know this tr- Wow, so you really know your stuff? No, it is you who I should be thanking. If not for this chance meeting, I never thought that I would be able to contribute to the upcoming farewell for our ancient lord. I mean, you could- uh, I mean, yeah. If you would excuse me, I should return to my work now. Good luck. We're constantly working. And that just about does it. Our preparations for the rite of parting are mostly finished. Given the ease of picking glaze lilies, I think this was a fitting end to our tasks in more ways than one. Zhongli, you seem suited to working in agricultural development. Yeah, Paimon can already imagine him starting a business in Liyue. <laughs> I've had enough ventures in my life already. That's about 6,000 years worth of life talking. Beginning a new undertaking is always difficult at first and requires no small amount of effort. And once business is at full steam, the stress of it all only wears away at you over time. Yeah. So you must be careful to take the time to step back and re-examine yourself. If left unchecked, the wear and tear on your heart may go well past mending. That is also fair. Wow. See? Jolly sounds like he's already seen it all. I mean, he kind of has, and the stream is probably going to be broken up into, like, a few, probably two streams, because right. I do want each one to be an hour. Time we head back to Leo at Harvard now. Yes, can we... Are we halfway done with this... With the... Solidary... Okay, still... Hold on. Solitary Fragrance, it's still quest 3 out of 6. And honestly, this should be about it. Not about it, but I'm pretty sure all of the entire bit of this now is going to be done and dealt with. We're going to be finding child soon. I'm hoping... I'm hoping... Well, I mean, honestly, my builds are probably just fine. I mean... I mean, I doubt that this one's not going to be up to par. This one could use more crit rate, but I mean, like, this much is also really kind of absurd. You're okay. Good crit rate. Kind of bad crit damage, but it's okay for now. And honestly, you... Oh, wait, do I not have artifacts on you? Oh, I have a weapon, but I don't have any artifacts on you. Hold on. Let me guess. Dendro set. I'm sorry? Well, actually, you do... Hold on. Yeah, deep wood memories and... God, that's another gut. Archaic Petra, Gladiator's Finale, and Gladiator... I feel like that's a bit... Well, it actually kind of shows you how many different ways that... This is concerning. Hello. Ah, you're the consultant to Wongsheng Funeral Parlor. Mr. Zhongli, I presume. Yes. The Millilith are watching our every move now. These are desperate times. We mustn't act rashly. Well, I mean, considering this is the main person organizing the right of parting, I would not be surprised that they didn't give a shit about this desperate conversation. times? Yes. The Adepti of Joyun Karst are finally on the move. Do they intend to exercise force? Most likely. I've heard that some members of the Qixing have already gone to meet them. Well... However, both sides were quite obstinate and hit an impasse. It seems inevitable, given the current situation. The mm. Adepti do not acknowledge the Chi Sing. They only acknowledge the contracts of the Geo Archon. 
If the two sides come to blows, Liyue Harbor will be in no position to stop them. Yeah, and then you'd come back as a ruler of that and then have to basically start Surely from scratch again. Surely Liyue and Qixing are not the sort to give in so easily. Huh. Their boneheadedness is known throughout the lands. Yet it's because of that obstinacy. And what now? How is it that the Fatui have come under fire? Uh, that's all Ningguang's doing. Rightfully so. She proclaimed that in these tumultuous times, the Millilith must rip. Only now do they want to start keeping tabs on us? <laughs> that's the Chising for you. She's literally been keeping tabs on you this entire time. Like, you're talking to people. Uh, I, I shouldn't be talking. Anyway, Mr. Zhongli, you're one of Child's close associates. Please understand that your actions will reflect on us. Don't let anyone catch you off guard. It looks like things are about to boil over in Liyue Harbor. You can't just stand by and watch. Do you watch. intend to use your neutral identity as an intermediary between both sides? Or will you use your sword to turn the balance? Yes. Neither path is an easy one. I'm doing both because sword to take care of the Fatui and neutral identity to take care of the conflict. Oh, by the way, Mr. Zhongli. We've heard that the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor has also been caught up in all of this. Things are taking a turn for the worse. I'm afraid I must leave now to handle things mm -hmm. back at Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. I hope that Master Hu has been able to keep things under control for the moment. Also, that was supposed to be Director Hu, but in other things, that's the first time we heard of Hu Tao. Consider your next course of action carefully, Traveler. Having connections with the Fatui seems to be quite the double-edged sword. So yeah. what does Zhongli mean by looking for the feud? Child. Oh, Paimon gets it. If there's anyone that wants, he must be waiting for the moment when no one... Well, where could we find... Where would he go at a time like this? There's only one place he would go. And that's Golden House. That's solitary fragrance completed. Body and mind. Actually, oh, yeah, I could probably have the entire. Hold on, it it is just at Golden House. Okay, yeah, this teleport waypoint because it's closer, or closest, and you're unable to teleport to here until you get the weeklies done. Right, wait, hold on, I don't have that done yet. No, wait, I did. I I just didn't. I just, for some reason, forgot that it doesn't actually cost resin to do that, so I don't really need to worry so much. Time to act. Yeah, we're going on our way to... Yeah, and I am probably just going to stick with this team, since there isn't much of a point of getting something else. I do have all the ults up, and the better question is, do I want to... How would I want? Oh, hold on. Who has the highest? Hold on. Talents. Eighty. A. Eighty. Okay. So now, who has the highest? Xingqiu. Six four. One three. Yeah, it's Xingqiu. I I should probably have expected that. Anyway, hello, and we're nearly at the Golden House. I forget if they actually said that the Exuvia was stored here, but they probably didn't. I just missed it. Oh. 47. All my characters are at level 70. Let's see how fast I can do shot. Let's see how well I can hit fight child. Yes. It looked impressive enough from the outside, but who would have guessed that it was even fancier on the inside? Bye, Mon. And so full of Mora. We have almost 10 million in our back pocket, and if you take any of it, we are going to be arrested for life. This is where all of Tibet's Mora is minted, right? In that case, maybe they won't notice if a few Mora go missing. If we were that easy, this place would have already been bankrupted and emptied. Oh. Closer look, right? No. Or better yet, take a nap on top of a mountain of Mora. We need to check this right. MacGuffin. Quiet. Two? Huh? Look! What happened here? The uh -oh. Quick! We have to go make sure.
Anyway, child's about to be here. Oh, that's a weird wave. You've already fulfilled your task as guides. So why Huh? Who's there? Child. <sighs> if you were Fatui, I imagine that you would be entitled to a generous reward from the Tsaritsa herself. But now, you're nothing but dross. And you're in my way. Looks like I was right. I was just in time then. <laughs> Although I'm deeply grateful to you that I was able to effortlessly find this secret location. It is not even that secret, my guy. Like, there is literally a path from the harbor to here that took, like, two minutes to do. Did you inspect every blade of fucking grass trying to find it? Don't you think that trying to stop me now would just be wasted effort? Not at all. I'm nearly double your level. Stopping the more immense. Hiding away the Exuvia. So you've been planning to take the Gnosis from inside the Exuvia all along? Yes. That's what's... <sighs> As one of the eleven Fatui Harbinger, she will get that which she desires. Not if I have anything to say about it, but I mean, either way, Signora's already arranged that. They're going to get <laughs> I'm not one. asking for your blessing, and there's nothing you can do to stop me anyway. Except killing you, but sure, just delude yourself anyway. The time for discussion and diplomacy has already passed. I mean, if it were up to me, I would have skipped that stage to begin with. Either way, we now come to my favorite part. The battle. Okay, battle. come on, let's get on with so it. You're the type that goes looking for trouble, huh? Did, oh my god, why did you forget this person was Fatui? Literally co workers with Signora, who fought a god. No shit. <laughs> you could. S when Signora offended the deities outside the cathedral in Mondstadt, instead of confronting you directly, she chose to rely on the snow and ice to make her escape. She wouldn't want the knight when she faces a worthy opponent. She will prioritize her mission. But as for me, the greatest pleasure of being a harbinger lies in crossing blades with strong opponents. Yeah, and she's more reasonable with you. Makes sense why she's three ranks higher. We won't let what happened in my- Oh, so you intend to fight me? Good. Besides, you could never defeat- <laughs> Fighting talk, I love it. Anyway. This chance is hard to come by, so show me all you've got. So very few ever get the chance to square off with a Fatui Harbinger. So come now, amuse me, and don't you dare disappoint. Sir, you're already almost dead. How are you coming? Help! We did Guess I should take you more seriously. <laughs> Good. No wonder Senora was so wary of you. Well, you literally have read. <sighs> Brace yourself. This is about to get tough. Now, show me what you can. I killed you before you could even finish the damn sentence. You aren't Not shit. Bad. Your swordsmanship is quite impressive. But that's about as far as you'll get. <laughs> Didn't think you had that card hidden up your sleeve. You were just playing it close to the Exodia. What? The... <sighs> oh, quiet down. Stop acting like some wide-eyed recruit. You've seen this world. You of all people should know. This should have been expected. <sighs> well then, I'll be taking more access gnosis now. Huh? <laughs> I see. Well, this is most unexpected. You, you beat me to it, didn't you? No, surprisingly not. It's something much more annoying. Anyway. Gonna do this in 10 seconds. I wonder. Actually, it'd probably be better to say 20, but not much more than that. 20 seconds at most, I can assure you. Also, 
Also, must be annoying to see it out of only one eye. You got to the gnosis ahead of me, didn't you? Would you simply move faster? Or did you leak the information regarding the golden house to me on purpose? No matter. Hand the gnosis over. Now! Don't make me take it from you. I literally did that before you were two sentences over. Look! Child's back to normal again! And guess what? You weren't shit. Well then, it seems the burden of the foul legacy trans- And now that I consider the matter more carefully, you never had any chance of beating me to the Gnosis. You had no connection to the Gnosis. No matter where it had been- That's what we've been trying to tell you! We didn't take it! Your Damn. show of ability today far surpasses that of Senora's initial assessment of you and Mondstadt. Tell me, you already know the answer, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. You know, the fact that I used two elements in one fight has only ever been done once is annoying. Because this is the only cutscene where it's been shown so far. And it's never a part of the original kit. Or the kit that we get. It'd be really nice if Traveler could just have two, like an elemental skill and an elemental burst that we can interchange with each other. That'd be really nice. Imagine a Bloom Traveler or an Aggravate Traveler up to the end. secret you wish to keep, I guess I'll just have to curb my curiosity. This battle has already left me satisfied. I mean, either way, you're about to summon a god to destroy Li Wei, so. Anyone who strives as I do to grow stronger shall be called a friend. Even if our friendship pretty sure that's not the normal way to make friends. Don't worry, he's a part of a government he's a part of an elite task force government agency that literally battles potentially gods to death. This is kind of run of the mill. Unfortunately, I must bring this amiable conversation to an end. My quest still beckons. Yep. Given that the Gnosis wasn't taken by anyone, then we must look once again to the beginning. Perhaps it was never in the Exuvia to begin with. In fact, it might be that the Exuvia was just a diversion of sorts. You'd be correct on that. Also, your arm is clipping into your other arm. What? So you mean that... Rex Lapis yes, still lives. Yes, so. Interesting to say the least. Oh no, who could have seen that coming? It seems that the guardian deity of the capital of commerce is also well... As such, we must... Backup plan? I had hoped it would never come to this, for the truth is... The world belongs to those who pursue strength. Unfortunately, we cannot be picky about our methods as Fatui Harbingers. So what are you planning to do? I will awaken the god that lies dormant. A god? Yes. Osile, overlord of the Vortex, who was defeated by Morax, the GR Archon in the Archon War, and who has remained pinned beneath the waves by the Geo Archons. If such an ancient god would be unleashed upon Liu Harp, do you think the cunning Rex Lapis would just stand aloof and watch the- but the Archon War ended 2,000 years ago! How Simple. I've already prepared the means to awaken it. Okay, better question. If you can just awaken an old dead god with just this, why the hell are you not trying to literally cause so much more issue on maybe... Mm, uh, well, I mean, granted, eh, actually, hey, I, I'm okay. It, it's it's okay. Yes, no shit. And for some reason, you didn't try to, you know, enslave the, enslave the Adeptus first. Didn't try, you know, just using the sigils of permission and copying enough of them so that each soldier would be able to just do significant more damage. Oh, Paimon remembers now. The Fatui have been researching them. I saw your research with my own Indeed. eyes. The one that was given to you was just a byproduct of our research. Which means those ones are much stronger. With the power of so many sigils of permission concentrated in one place, along with that which was bestowed upon me as a harbinger by our Tsaritsa, breaking the subduing might of the Geo Archon spears for a time should be no obstacle. Using the powers of ancient gods in such a situation fails to interest me and is largely against my principles. But knowing that such an action will not only force the Geo Archon to show its hand, but you as well. Oh. Oh, no. 
no big scary sea monster. Will the nation that has lost its deity be swallowed up by an ancient malice once more? If you wish to drown together with the people of Lyra, you're free to stay and enjoy the show. Huh? He's he's already gone. That guy is fast. Uh, what's going on? I you know and Ingron's about to do her secondary ult of just dropping the jade chamber on a god. That camera shake is way too much on the chamber in that view. Actually, no, it's not, because it is going through a hurricane. <clears throat> God damn it, it's already... <sighs> if we hadn't happened to see the Jade Chamber flying over Je <sighs> did we... Yes, come on. What are you doing here? Oh, you know, helping out. Huh? Hold on. You were art faced with a calamity of such magnitude. <laughs> oh, Paimon gets it. Eh, just seeing this overlord of the vortex. It's not just you. We've got new Millilith recruits who can't even stand at attention without shaking. Which is why we must stop that monster before it gets any. So the Archon War was fought 2,000 years ago against enemies like that thing? Yes. Now that's. Scary. Yes, and that's not even taking into account the fact that Connor and bullshit like that happened just 500 years ago. <sighs> yeah, you're familiar with it. You're tainted by the corpses. So will the power of the Chising, Millilith, and Adepti gathered here be enough to stop that god? Yes. We've already discussed this together, and our conclusion is... not necessarily. What? Would all of you... One certainly could. Huh? The Chi Sing did once research the matter of the Guizhong Ballista when it piqued their fancy. Oh. And as fate would have it, one who did crap for what could you mortals ever learn of Adepti mechanisms? Yet, it would take one, but a little tinkering to turn this Ballista into an engine of war beyond your wildest thoughts. <laughs> I suppose this is one blessing from the Adept. So be it. We shall use the upgraded Guizhong. We haven't a moment to spare. Yep. Yeah, the fact that you're a four star is really dumb, actually, since you should be a five star, since every other character that's taken up the similar role is a five star. Get through this. <gasps> the Fatui! They're attacking the Glacial Ballista! <laughs> also, how the hell do you have just portals? Like, the simple fact that- I mean, the simple fact that you have portals is something that we have never seen before. Or is- makes you that much- the Ballista. Do not Where? let the Fatui disturb their work! All able Millilith, with me! Let's go up to my work! Oh. We Adepti have not faced a god in several millennia. Hmm. Let one see what you are made of then. What strength remains within you, one wishes to witness. Well, I already killed... Rain outlines your fate. You're in for a little shock. Why do these guys feel significantly weaker than... I know at this point just run the timer out before everything gets settled, but... Hello. Well, anyway, next one.
Where is the next portal? Come on. Osile's divine power. I am very familiar with it. Be careful not to get hit. You know, it'd be nice to get like a bit more warning besides be careful not to get hit and just not display anything. No, not leaf domain. Hello. The Fatui! Their attacks are unrelenting! Yes, and I'm too strong to actually. Nezhnai's diplomats will answer for this afterward. Every last one. Okay, why are these guys so much stronger than the last ones? Because... Because that feels so much more... So much stronger. Full health because then. Hello. What do you mean that time in Julian Cars? No shit, she is literally an adeptus. What makes you think she would be weak? Down the clock, let's get through this more. With the blood of the Chilean, I guard you against evil. Cast your fear of injury by the wayside and fight with all your might. I too did this during the Archon War. Wait, can I just stand in the middle? Oh, that does next to nothing now. Oh, it also does reach. Take my power and run as I do. Quite fun to be like this. By the way, I don't have any enemies to deal. I was supposed to like fight them off a lot slower, wasn't I? Because there are supposed to be people. I was supposed to have gotten these buffs throughout the fights I had with them. So how fast am I going? This feels significantly faster. Come on. Shy. You are strong in body and spirit. That perhaps you can withstand three forms of adeptal energy at once. Hello. This will hurt a little. Please bear with us. Once you've adapted, try to use them in battle. I've literally already have. Try not to enjoy this too much. Now, let's see, do I just run out the clock completely, or do I just... That because of the attack, or just? All right, are we done now, or do I have to completely fight throughout the time that? You're 
Baron for a little shot. The Fatui's numbers are thinning! Fight on, comrades! Once we finish this lot off, the Adepti will be able to deal with the god in peace. Was that supposed to be the last ones, or are there more coming? Because generally I finished off literally all of them. Oh, yeah, I finished off all of them. It's done. The interlopers are no more. Now we may commit ourselves fully. That took like two seconds. Why didn't you just do that when I was doing that? Like fighting the rest of them. It's working! We just need to keep this up! <laughs> okay. Yeah, the platform's breaking because of course it would. Anyway. Be careful now. The Guizhong Ballista is destroyed. Huh? Without its covering fire, retaliation shall be difficult. But the Jade Chamber is our last line of defense. We can't give another inch, no matter what. I have another idea. Uh, what do you mean, Lady Ningguang? Just drop the chamber. I'll sacrifice the Jade Chamber. What is the meaning of this? I understand. Traveler, lend me a hand. Farewell, old friend. Goodbye for now. Let us meet again in the future. And there we go. <laughs> okay, and either way, I'm pretty sure that should be it. Pretty much, yeah. The ominous aura of that monster has indeed begun to fade. The effects of the sigil of permission last but a short time. Yeah. So I can I kicking out a bottle? Okay. It will be some time before the overlord of the vortex can make any waves again. Okay. We are indebted to you for your assistance. If the Adepti hadn't happened to be here, the future of Liyua Harbor would surely have been in great... Save your flattery. We didn't just happen to be here. Surely you won't pretend to have forgotten the reason for which we came. Okay, and we are back. Come now. There's no need for such harsh words, Cloud Retainer. I've heard that when Ningguang began learning to do business, she had already started setting aside part of her then limited income in preparation for building the Jade Chamber. At first, yeah. it was only the size of a small room, but with continued expansion, it has become the palace that lies before you now. Ah, yes. Well, not lies before you now, but l was. It is a testament to Ningguang's entire life, both as a businesswoman and as the backbone of the Liu Chi Sing. Seeing the Jade Chamber destroyed in the defense of Liyue means much to her. To me, such cooperation and sacrifice deserves at least some recognition, don't you agree? Well, 
I was really hoping you would say that such sacrifice. <laughs> Thank you all for hearing me out. We know very well why the Adepti came here today. But please forgive us. We cannot yield to your wishes. Oh? 3,700 years. Even to this very day, Liyue and its lands have stood the test of time, immovable as stone, just as it was thousands of years before. This is truly no small feat, but that does not mean that the Liyue of today is the same city as it was all those years ago. Yeah. Do not merely cast your protective gaze upon the land. Instead, focus your sights on our city and each of the citizens that dwell within it. Are you questioning our means of protecting Liyue? Yes. Hmm. I mean no offense. I simply hope that our... <laughs> Forebearers, you say? One doubts you would be fit to be part of such a lineage. This morning, Rex Lapis appeared to me in a dream. What? In the dream, I yearn to tell him that we Chi Sing, though mortal, are equally bound to the contract. Each passing generation of the Chi Sing leaves many things of value to be inherited by the next generation. I also thought to tell him how the past generations of Chi Sing had strove under his rule to survive in our mortal world, establishing a network of contracts which has since come to be known as trade. But I dared not speak. I could only gaze at him in silence until the moment I awoke. Oh, Ningguang. We're all on the same side here. Yet another perspective. What are you trying to say, Outlander? When there is discord between guardians and those they were meant to be meant to defend, harmony becomes very difficult to restore. Right. That's something that happened in Mondstadt. It's a story about the four winds and the people of the Animal Archon. The Animal Archon sought to quell the strife between the two sides, because he believed that such conflict would only scar the hearts of both, and that nothing good would come of it. This is what we learned in the City of Freedom. Each of the Seven Nations has its own scars from the past. Though your point is the very height of simplicity, as Adepti we've become a laughing stock to be chastised thus by an outlander who has lent us such succor. All right, all right. Didn't Ning Wong suggest that we should focus on the city and each of its citizens? I know I already have, so why not see for yourselves? Mm -hmm. I apologize for appearing in full armor. I am afraid I cannot show the proper courtesies. And who are you? I am Feng Yan, a sergeant of the Millilith. I have come to extend my thanks to the Adepti. I thought this battle would perhaps be my last. But thanks to the aid of the Adepti, our forces were not as badly battered as I feared we might be. Although I am a mere mortal soldier, I promise to hold the line and never betray the grace given to us by the illuminated Adepti this day. Yep. <sighs> huh? Why does everyone- <laughs> Weren't you frightened, dear? It was quite the predicament. I wasn't afraid. All the strong Millilith guards were there, and those powerful heroes with their visions were there. When danger is near, everyone always protects me. And the rest of the time, they make fun toys and tasty snacks and, and loads of things that make the harbor so pretty. Mm -hmm. Thanks for protecting Liyue Harbor. Please come visit us for the next lantern rite. This is going to be a long ass time away. We wouldn't be able to. Huh? Because we are Adepti. Oh, okay. <laughs> you see, this is what Liyue is like today. The country of contracts is grateful to the Adepti for their protection. But it is no longer necessary for the city to rely on the Adepti's power to solve every little niggling matter. Although their blood is weak, there is still strength to be found in those we call mortals. The time of contracts between gods and Liyue has long since passed. Now is the time of contracts between Liyue and its people. Good for you for saying that. Seeing the port around us now, it is hard not to feel a bit out of place. 
Wouldn't you say so, Cloud Retainer? It is kind of interesting since I'm... Uh, well, actually, there's a lot of difference. Same model, but... I was about to say, wow, it's almost like it's a... a Color-swapped versions, but it's a little bit more than that. This is different, this is different. Actually, the fins are also different because that one has a bigger swash, and this ends right here. So. Your line of inquiry is askew. One did not spearhead this expedition to Liyue Harbor. Hmm. Seems like the Adepti have had a change of heart. They've had... They've listened to what pe what the people have said, and they're trying to understand things from their perspective. Let us return now. Eager to leave, conqueror of demons. <laughs> yes, one understands what the conqueror of demons means. One fears that by the time one finally grasps the new contracts of Liyue, you humans would have once again changed the place beyond recognition. So, you know, you could just, like, try to involve yourself more in mortal life. Fair enough. Away we shall, and return whence we came. Hmm. Mm. Since we Adepti have consensus, then one shall persist no further. But how will we ensure that the Liyue Chising will not simply exploit their power once we depart? In my view, that is still a thing to be guarded against. <laughs> All right, Mooncarver, you needn't worry. It seems to me that this right of supervision is best left to the people of Liyue. Yeah. Looks like the conflict between humans and Adepti was avoided. All swerve it ends well, huh? You can say that again. The Adepti were quite reasonable in the end. Oh, right! It's nice that we've got peace and all, but we're forgetting one thing. Child mm. wanted to unleash the god so he could lure... But we were able to handle the overlord of the Vortex on... Oh, and speaking of that, don't we... I feel like you also really shouldn't be talking about something like that. Isn't the strongest lead we have the Adeptilus right of parting that we're organizing? No idea where Yang Li's going. Let's ask for him at Longshan Funeral Parlor. Oh wait, does do we get to see Hu Tao for like two seconds here? Or no? Hello. Is there no. anything I can do for you two? I'm afraid that we've come to see Zhang Li. Could you please tell him we're here? Unfortunately, yeah. Zhang Li isn't here at the moment. It seems he went to North. Doesn't the Northland Bank belong to the Fatui? Yes. The last time we saw Zhang Li was before we went. Do you think he doesn't know about the attack on Liu? We had no. better go and make. The fuck do you mean doesn't know? Someone would have come in screaming about needing to find shelter and that everyone was dying. Everything with its pointless goddamn zigs and zag. I am in front of the door. I am trying to get into this door. Fuck off. You call this cooperation between Harbingers? Cooperation involves communication, you know. It worked regardless. <laughs> Don't take it to heart, child. Besides, aren't you happy that you got to skip the formalities and bring chaos to the land? I'm sure you must have enjoyed that. Oh, it seems that some of your friends have arrived. Hello. Hey, it's Zhang Li and Child. <laughs> it's you two. I believe we've met once before. In the city of Bards, was it? I'm glad you still remember my name. It's kind of hard to forget. Ah, right. I imagine that it must have been rather hard to forget watching helplessly as something precious was snatched away from your friend. I still have time to I still have time to take it back, or do something else that's called making making account. No, don't let her get to you. You've yet to gather the powers of all seven elements. And our last battle at the Golden House was almost more than you could handle. You are saying this out loud in front of two harbingers. So it might be best to keep things peaceful this 
next time. Well, if it isn't you t hmm. I knew that we should never have trusted a Fatui Harbinger. Did you? Also, we're talking about the person who is still very much within recovery and should not be fighting at all. Is it any fighting edition? Oh, now don't say that. Sure, besides, I thought we were getting along quite well together, didn't you? It, nothing personal. We just have different views, that's all. Of course, you may very well hold this against me, but that's up to you. Sir, you tried to literally genocide an entire town. Well, not genocide, you tried to murder an entire town by summoning a god. That's hardly something small or a different view. That's just... The real deceivers here are Senora and Zhongli. Curse them for leading me on. Well, I mean, I know Zhongli because Zhongli is Rex Lapis, but okay. Sure. So actually, I think... Stop wasting time, child. There'll be plenty of time to chat once I'm through here. <sighs> Just titties in to screen. You remember the agreement, Morax. Now, if you would be so kind. Agreement. What in the world are you talking about? The final contract he had. The contract is fulfilled. That which thou seeketh is now bestowed unto thee. For my promise is solid as stone. Yep. Sanctimonious. I mean, I did have my suspicions. What? So you're the Lord of Chia? Taimon, how did you not know that? No, wait. That's an exciting twist and all, but why give the Gnosis to the Fatui? There is a contract to make sure that Li Wei was properly able to handle without being with. I do not give it for free. I give it as agreed upon in the contract. For it is a matter solely between the Tsaritsa and I. <sighs> <laughs> Gathering all the forces that had been bubbling behind the scenes, and then stirring them to- Wait, what? Perhaps it's best, as you know. I've dwelt upon this world for more than 6,000 years. It is now 3,700 years ago that I founded Liyue, together with the Adepti. Yep, come on, let's just do the lore dump. Even boulders that can withstand whirlpools will erode with the passing of time. I kept convincing myself that cracks had not begun to form, and that the end of my time had not yet come, until one drizzly day. As I was strolling along the harbor, I heard a merchant tell one of his workers, You finished your duties. Go ahead and call it a day. I stood motionless among the crowds, asking myself, Have I already finished my duties? Yep. Oh, Zhang Li. But as I began to consider relinquishing my divine role, I soon discovered that many reasons still remained to not hastily depart. Was Liyue, the city I had dwelt in for so long, already prepared to enter its next age? I decided that a test was needed in order to reveal the answer. Yep. So I feigned my own death and gathered the cast of Child, the Adepti, and the Liyue Chising to play their roles together on the stage that was Liyue. So were you satisfied with the finale? Indeed I was. The Gnosis which I had kept for so many years suddenly seemed to have lost its meaning. Mm. That's right. Which is why I continued to safeguard the Gnosis until now. So you mean that if the chaos ever reached the point of no return, you would simply appear and use your divine powers to bring Leela back under control? Of course, and it would have been all too easy for him too. Just as a child quickly matures after losing their parents, so has Leo matured when faced with the death of its deity. In the end, the resolution to all that has transpired was even more satisfactory than I could have hoped for. Which is Take good. Take the for instance. Owing to their years of seclusion, they were the least informed. Yet when faced with a crisis, they commendably showed the greatest amount of restraint possible. Not only did they manage to cooperate with the Qixing, but in the end, they even made efforts to understand the hearts of the people. I mean, I get that you think that at least this is a good time to, like, see what would happen, but you are talking about, like, 
deities, not deities, well, yeah, kind of deities, that can live for thousands upon thousands of years, there's still plenty of time to just, you know, decide to go down an evil route, even without you watching or with you watching. Credit is also due to Signora, the emissary dispatched by the Cryo Archon to fulfill our contract. At my request, she kept everything she knew in strict confidence. This despite the eavesdropping ears of her colleague, Child. This meant I could remain as Zhongli, even having the chance to fulfill the age-old traditions of Liu in this mortal form. Thank you for joining me on this journey, Traveler. All yeah. of these things turned out as I had planned. There is only one thing that I had not anticipated. And that was the conduct. I had expected them to do no more than the Adepti. To come to the defense of Liu. But when all was said and done, they seized the opportunity to supplant Liu as divine protectors. And used the subsequent power vacuum left by my death to quickly gain complete control of Liu. I mean, it'd be kind of hard for the government that basically was second only to you to not just do that. Huh? On the contrary, I think it is excellent. I had always feared that it was too soon for them to take over from me. And it was also that which I longed for the most. As such, this is the best parting gift anyone could have given this god of old. Hey, what about me? Doesn't anyone feel the least bit of remorse for deceiving me? You've practically kept me in the dark. I don't feel anything in regards to that with you. You literally tried to commit mass murder on a massive scale without caring, caring at all. <laughs> I think that thanks would be more appropriate. You certainly played no small part in all of this. If you hadn't created the pressure of a battle between mortals, adepti, and a god, the lump of coal resting in the hands of the Geoarchon, Liu would never have been able to become a dazzling diamond of a city. I am kind of curious if this is going to become a catalyst design, since, again, her not being a catalyst playable character is a hell of a old move. Huh? Just whose side are you on, mocking me like that? Are you itching for a fight? I mean, granted, she does have two elemental powers, so it's not exactly a good thing to do. You've really embarrassed yourself this time. Hey! Haven't you learned the Leo is saying, don't always call it as you see it? It, it seems like I'm seeing it quite well, though. <laughs> well then, with the Gnosis in my possession, I have no use for such idle chatter. We should return to Zapoyarni Palace and seek an audience with Her Majesty, the Tsaritsa. Come, child. Yep. Ah, fine. I'll meet you there later. I'm not sharing a boat with the likes of you. Really? Not going first class? Shame. <laughs> Do as you wish. Now then, is there anything else you wish to ask me? What could possibly be worth a gnosis? Right! As Zhongli always told us, a good trade is a fair trade. Paimon has no idea what could be a good trade for a Gnosis. Realistically speaking, there is no such thing. Huh? However, I am the god of contracts. For thousands of years, I have made my agreement with the Cryo Archon will be the last of my contracts as the Geo Archon. My contract to end all contracts oh. as for the bargaining chip that the tsaritsa used to balance the scales uncover that answer for yourself in your future journeys we still haven't gotten that answer yet so chances are it's going to be until oh 20 to like fall 2025 even to even get a smith bit of information about that i might actually be in time to get a c6 five-star character by the time the Saritza comes out, which is a weird thought to have. Either way, I've been streaming for almost two hours now, and I need to... Today's the day of the Rite of Parting! Although the star of the show is fake, we spent so much time trying to organize it, it would be a real shame not to go there now. 
Oh my god, I want to get this quest done and dealt with, and I'm doing all the dialogue. I have enough resin to start. Hold on, how? It's, I need to finish this, which again isn't a whole lot, and I have done all the requirements for making sure that each account doesn't have issues. But this is still ludicrous. Hello. Oh, well, since we're going through with this rite of parting, I guess it means that those rumors hit the nail on the head. Okay. Oh, so Rex Lapis is really... Oh. But... oh, come on. Do you think that the assassin could have been a normal person? You know what I think. I don't think any of the... There's only one real possibility in my mind. I've heard that the assassin was that Fatui fellow. Fatui? Hmm. They certainly... Shh. Lower your voice. If the Fatui catch you in their sights, Rex Lapis won't be around to protect you this time. You know that god from the ocean couldn't have just shown up out of nowhere. I mean, it's been 2,000 years since Rex Lapis subdued it. Yes, and to think that this happened right on the heels of the incident with Rex Lapis, too. Say... Do you think the person who assassinated our lord and released that evil god might have been one and the same? That would be true. Now that you mention it, that's very possible. Yes, it's very possible indeed. I mean, it all fits together. That person must have colluded with the evil god to harm Rex Lapis. Still, what sort of supernatural prowess must this person possess to be able to do such things? I have never heard of such a person in all my years. Ah, uh, forget it. Guessing's no use to us. Look. Yeah, come on. Let's get through this. Let's end off Lee away. Hear ye all the Chi Sing's words. Though a dragon soars ageless as the mountains, it too must return to dust. This is common knowledge. Yep. Gods and Adepti live glorious lives, but both light and shadow have their season. So, too, must they face divinely appointed trials. Rumors and hearsay abound on the streets that Rex Lapis was murdered. Now, let the truth be revealed. Having been thwarted in his trial, Rex Lapis's soul has recouped the celestial heights. He beseeches the people of Lyra to grieve not and to let not their hearts be saddened. Nor are they to believe street-born rumors or indulge in baseless speculation. Mm. Eh, well, good way to spin it, at least. Uh, um, Daimon needs a translation on what the Chi Sing's announcement said. They said that Rex Lapis died because of a divine trial. Uh, so that's how they're spinning it. Something feels off. Why would they suddenly give up looking for the murderer? Could the Chi Sing already have known that Rex Lapis wasn't... Hmm... Did Zhang Li tell them in secret after his gnosis changed hands? I think he hit the bullseye this time. Exactly, right? Ooh! Hmm. <laughs> yeah, hello. Look, it's Ningguang and Kuching! Yep. Are they saying something? As said previously, Rex Lapis's soul returning to the heavens is the end of the contract. And it is also the end. 3,700 years of contracts burnt and reduced to ash. We, the people of Liyue, were indeed prosperous. But blinded by our prosperity, we forgot that time can be pitiless. Yep. The long, unending dream of our Archon walking among us. Mm. Now that we have awoken from our dream, will you stand with us as we re- yeah. So concludes the words of her eminent- Does her eminence, the Yuhung, have any- Huh? Is she look- Traveler. Yikes! She really is- Is that the Traveler who they say did- So young! The Liyue Chising always repay their debts. And as you have heard, our eyes see far, and our reach is long. Name your price. 
You deserve that. Ah, uh, yes, and we're simply going to say, hey, do you mind putting up missing posters so we can just search for search for my sister, which then immediately after becomes. Oh, hold on. I'm turning my hair back again. And. Dialogue. Well, could you help There's me put missing up some person missing posters. person posters? Yep. So you Ah uh, Rex Lapis. Oh, Rex Lapis. Hmm. Now that I think about it, if everyone's of the same mind as me, perhaps mementos for Rex Lapis might be the best short term business opportunity. Yes, that'd be correct. Huh. And to think I'd put my best perfume on before coming here thinking you'd like it. But it seems as if those perfumes really were meant to be offered to Rex Lapis. Yes. Well, that's fine. Suffer no rivals in love, they say. And that's three gone in one stroke. Yep. And... Hold on. As uh, for the right. mortals and Adepti of Liua, what shape shall our relationship take from now on? Eh, no idea. Anyway. Hello, buddy. Hey, Zhongli! Look at this! Everyone in Liyue, and here you are looking all relaxed! <laughs> Why would I not feel more at ease after laying down the burden I have borne for 3,700 years? Right. If the two of you can... Like big talk, Zhongli. Paima might have believed you if you were treating us to some third round knockout, but you'd have to pay out your nose just to stand inside Xinyue Kiosk. Are you sure you can afford it? Hmm. You're right. I do like the Mora. You've, you've been this way the entire time, but why do you lack As water? the Rex Lapis Morax, I can easily create Mora. But since I have chosen to walk this earth as the mortal Zhongli, I should abide by the same rules that mortals do. Okay. When I was journeying with you, though I still had the Gnosis in hand, I knew that I must soon retire from my role as an Archon. So I had to... rehearse a little for my new life. Oh, no wonder! Paimon gets it now! You, but, since you weren't used to not being able to just make more Mora as and when you wanted to, you had to try becoming a parasite. Well, we were only spending Fatui money. You don't have to say it like that. But that's In exactly what you're Congress, doing. We do not merely exchange money or goods. We also exchange knowledge. Meant the Archon Morax could never experience life as the true mortal Zhongli could. No matter how many times he descended to be with his people. Yeah. <laughs> I must thank you for that. Yeah, I mean, I do hope you enjoy your retirement and that you don't regret it. I will treasure the memories that I made as Zhongli. Traveling the streets of Liyue with you. It was a nice adventure. That is true. But there is no journey that does not end. No meetings without partings. Yeah. Mm. We should make a move and continue our search for the seven. Yep. I fear that continuing your journey may be difficult. The nation that neighbors Liyue by sea in Azuma is presently closed. Who's, who's the god that, who rules in the Azuma? The Electro Archon Ball. And just as the people of Liyue preferred to call me Rex Lapis, she too goes by another name among locals in Inazuma. Um, Hyman thinks we've heard that one before. Uh, right? That is the case. Yeah. And since Raiden is also the Shogun of Inazuma, people call her the Raiden Shogun. That mm -hmm. said, though people at the wharf were saying that the situation in Ina... Zhongli, since you're Rex Lapis, shouldn't you know something about what's happening there? Just how did Inazuma become a closed nation? It's because of visions. Visions? Yeah. When faced with circumstances beyond their control, humans often bemoan their lack of power. 
But if a person shows true strength of will at a desperate and fateful moment in their life, <coughs> the gods will look upon them with favor. This is what visions are. Magical foci bestowed upon those who have been acknowledged by the gods. Uh-huh. That's how people... But starting from last year, the Raiden Shogun began promulgating the Vision Hunt Decree. Mm. Vision Hunt Decree? Yes. It was an order to seize all visions within Inazuma's borders and to inlay them upon the hands of the statue of the omnipresent god. They want to seize visions. But why? Aren't vision... I should think that in the Raiden Shogun's eyes, it is precisely because they are divine blessings that they should be under the sole dominion of divinity. Uh, yeah, and simply put, if they were just magical foci that people could just get rid of without consequence, it'd be one thing. But it's another thing entirely that these little vision well, not this one, because his power comes from him alone, but just simply put, since usually for a normal person with vision, or at least normal vision holder, it contains a part of their soul, you take it away permanently or close to permanently, it pretty much shuts their soul down. The Animo Archon is the god of freedom, and the Geo Archon is the god of contracts. For her part, the Raiden Shogun is the god of eternity. It seems as though she has finally decided to eliminate any unstable elements that could pose a threat to her eternal realm. The fact yeah. that even I, the oldest of the seven, have now passed away, will only strengthen her resolve to pursue eternity, knowing her. She must have again quoted that adage she is most fond of when proclaiming that decree to her people. Seven ideals for seven gods. And of these, eternity is nearest unto the heavenly principles. Yeah. All right then. Was there anything else you wished to know? There's nothing else. Well then, I suppose you'll have to find a way to get in. And... We are done with that. Now, I need to hurry up and get so much shit. Oh my god, so many achievements. Is that enough to get me to 30 th Right, I... Now you're at C6. Now, guy, that's another free wish. We will be reunited. And this teapot to call. God. One, two. Th Either way, I need to do this real quick. I might just end it off here since might end the stream here and just take care of some other stuff since there isn't much this quest so yeah i'll end the stream since my computer's gonna have a heart attack or wi-fi is gonna have a heart attack trying to upload a two like uh nearly two hour vod so thank you for anyone who dropped in decided to take a watch good morning good day good afternoon and good evening whichever suits you best